Samuel, you must go to Bethlehem. You must go and anoint the one that I have chosen. We are the descendants of Judah. We are sons of courage, sons of strength. Strength for more than just dropping off. Just wait. Once the Lord calls upon us, we'll ride throughout the world. Defeat the enemy and raise high the flag of victory. Me too. Eliab, have you heard what people have been saying? What news? There's word that King Saul was accused by Prophet Samuel for his arrogance. That means God has left him also. If God is not with our king, then what would become of us? Worry, worry. You guys worry all day for no reason. God's not going to abandon his people. He will guide us with his strong and faithful hands. Boys, supper's ready. Food! <laughs> Stop acting like children. You should be ashamed. We are the clan of Judah, the chosen descendant of Abraham. As Jacob foretold, someday the ruler of Israel will come out from the children of Judah, children of yours. So act accordingly. And remember, dignity and order. We are the descendants of Judah. So always remember, dignity and order. Order is obedience. Second, bring the water. Third, water. 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 Mm, why do I have to be the last? <laughs> go tend the sheep in the field. Oh, of course, Father. We will go see the sheep. Remember, order and dignity. Second, go tend the sheep. Third, the sheep. The sheep. Okay, okay, okay. I'm obviously going to be going anyway. So long. I'm going to tend the sheep.
Prophet Samuel? What brings you to my home? Don't be worried. I have come to see your son. My son? David! David! Where are you? Huh? David, where are you? I'm here! Father wants you to come home right away. David is here. Father? Kneel down, David. This is Prophet Samuel. I saw the seven other brothers, but the Lord did not grant me to anoint any of them. So, this child here, he is the one God has chosen. He will receive the anointing. My Lord God, I have poured out your anointing according to your will. Bless this David and protect him. Don't let anyone find out about this or Saul. He will try to harm this young king. An attack! Attack! Under block! Princess, must you waste your time with swords and sticks? What about dolls and pretty dresses? I think it is good that she is so outgoing and independent. But a princess should try to attain grace and elegance. Okay, Jonathan, let's get to the real combat. Here I go. Are you here? Hmm. Oh. I'm right oh. here. <laughs> <laughs> My sweet sister, I was scared that Miriam had crushed you. Don't stop. Are you sure you're okay, Michael? This time I'll block. Come on. Okay, sister. Ready? Prince Jonathan, I have an urgent message. Again? I'm ready. Hurry. Don't go, Jonathan. Stay and play. Jonathan! Jonathan! It's okay, Princess Michael. We can still play. No! I want to play with Jonathan! Jonathan! Father! Calm down, Father. I... I've been cursed! But no one will take this throne! This seat is mine! Mine! Father! Stay away! I am the king! I am the king! An evil spirit is disturbing the king. Hire a skilled musician to play a harp for the king. That will drive the evil spirit away. A musician? I know how to play the harp. I know, I know. I've heard there's a boy in Bethlehem, son of Jesse, who is a great harp player. His name is David. David? David? Who's that? He can't be better than me. Who's David? Is he prettier than me? Is he smart like me?
Father, how are you feeling? Much better. What's your name, boy? I am David. David. As he's saying, the evil spirit left you. I wonder if you'd allow for him to stay here. Hmm. Remain in the palace. Come with me, David. I'll show you to your room. No one's to my throne. Here, this is your room. My room? Just for me? Of course. It's quite late, so get some rest. All right! Finally, my own room! Yes! Just yesterday, eight of us squashed together in one tiny bed. Pushing, jerking, falling. But today, here's my very own room. Bigger than the one from home. My room. My room. My room! I can make a mess like a tornado swept by, and no one can tell to clean it up. Hey! Your singing was very impressive. Do it again. What? What song? Anything you like. Maybe the one you just sang. Hurry, hurry! All right. I guess you need some time to get ready. Here, I'll be quiet. Start singing! Forgive me. I didn't know you were the princess. Look at that all wet, balled up like a little mouse. <laughs> that was entertaining, but I must be going now. I need my beauty sleep. Notify the army at once, and all the soldiers of the Valley of Elar! Gotta go. Bye. That's 
stupid. He thinks war is some kind of a game. Shut this heathen up. <sighs> Soldiers, is there any among you? Any that can shut the mouth of Goliath? If you can, I will give you treasures you would not be able to count, and my daughter as his wife. No one? No one? The one you call your god is dead. <laughs> Your Highness, I will fight him. Aren't you a little too young? The Lord God will protect me from the hand of that Philistine beast. You may go. Your challenge is answered! <laughs> is this the best of your army, poor boy? I will cut you in half and feed you to the birds. You trust in your sword? I come in the name of the Lord God of all. Michael, what are you doing? David is playing a joke on me that we're going to be married. Is that what he said? Tell him. Tell him a princess doesn't marry commoners. My sweet princess and the common boy. But it's the truth. Liar! That's what our father promised to give you for marriage to the one who beats Goliath. That's what David did. Daddy? A promise is a promise. But not right now. You are both too young. You will be David's wife. <laughs> it can't be that bad. He's okay a little bit. He can sing for me and I guess he can fight too. I can have him be like a bodyguard. From now on, David will be in charge of all military defense against the Philistines. David has 
once again won against the Philistines. Ever since you put David in charge of defense, we have enjoyed security from invaders. And David, his tens of thousands? So now, my own subjects acknowledge him above me. What will they do next? Overthrow me and put David in my place? Father, you know that David is your most trustworthy subject? Your Highness, I have brought 2,000 prisoners and their wealth. Look, all of this is now yours. <laughs> What's the matter? I was just testing the swiftness of my best warrior. That was very impressive. I'm very tired now. You may leave. You must be tired too. Here, let me walk you out. There's someone waiting for you in the garden. Go say hello. My god, what can I do? Jealousy is driving hatred into my father's heart to harm David. Why must this happen? Now, princess, you are not a little child anymore. Remember grace? And elegance, especially before a young man, yes? Yes, Miriam. Don't forget to stand straight. I got it. Oh, the hero has returned. <laughs> Mikal, how are you? I heard the news, another great victory. And there was no trick involved. Oh, really? Ha! <sighs> ah! Oh, my God! Let's see if our hero has earned his fame. <sighs> so, is my fame all just a bag of tricks? If it's so, I wouldn't find it my hero. again. You're not kids anymore. When will you two grow up? So, you want my daughter's hand in marriage? It was a promise you made years ago. Of course, I was a young boy then, but... But you believe you are old enough? Yes, a promise is a promise, but I want a price for the bride. 
Before sunset tomorrow, bring me earrings of a hundred Philistine soldiers. Father, that's ridiculous. How can David take one hundred men by himself? Is it such a ridiculous request? I thought for sure someone who would marry my daughter would be able to prove himself worthy. Hmm? The king will have all he asked for, and he will have it before sunset tomorrow. David! I'll be back soon. David! Abner, make sure he never comes back. Brothers, how? We're going with you. King Saul has made it clear to me that I am to carry out this mission by myself. Can't you see that it's a trap? King Saul sends you all by yourself to go up against hundreds of soldiers. He wishes you dead. We'll go with you. But if I don't keep my word, I may not be able to marry her at all. I'm going alone. Yeah! David! Let him go. If he's not back by tomorrow, I will take revenge on him. There's more than 200 soldiers here. I should divide them first. Hey! You! Philistines! It's an attack! It's an attack! Prepare for battle! Where are they? I saw one run that way! They're here! Find them!
refuge and my salvation. One eighty nine, one ninety, one ninety one, one ninety five, ninety six, two hundred. Eliab, I see you've come to help. Too late, brother. I caught him aiming an arrow to kill you just now. An arrow? With the bells. Please, spare my life. I'll take care of this weasel myself. No! I can't have you spill the blood of a fellow Israelite. Your Highness, I have brought Mikal's bride price. Here are the earrings of 100 Philistine soldiers. Highness, it's definitely from the Philistines. Now may I have your blessings to wed Mikal? We must kill him! He is trying to take my kingdom! What are you all waiting for? Kill him! Uh -huh. Run, David! Quickly! Don't let him go! Please, Father. David is a man with God's favor. Are you going to oppose the Lord? Abner, go after him! Our beautiful, beautiful princess is getting married to a brave warrior, David. Our beautiful, beautiful princess. David, what's wrong? Your father is trying to kill me. Father? Kill you? Why? I don't know. Quickly, lock the gate, quickly. Yes, princess. David, why is this happening to us? I don't know. Oh. What are we gonna do? Oh my! They're about to break down the door! No, David. Run away. Once Abner comes in, he won't even let me stop him. Nicole. David. doing this daddy what has he done you you love David more than your own father would you have him kill me to take my own kingdom you can't be serious this is my throne my crown my kingdom no one will ever take what is mine not even you <laughs> 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 oh, my daughter. Are you all right? Don't touch her. You have no right, Father. David. There's too many soldiers at the gate. 
How can I escape? has escaped safely. Jonathan, what have I done to deserve this? What has David done? This can't be happening. General, to what do we owe your visit? I haven't eaten for three days. Please, any food? Uh, all we have here are some bread used for sacrifices. Take some of that, at least. Thank you. <laughs> a general must also have a weapon. This sword once belonged to your first adversary, Goliath. Thank you. Where are you headed? Well, since King Saul wants to kill me, I must leave the country. Priest Ahimelech has sent David off with food and weapons. Abner! Put Ahimelech and his entire clan to death! But Ahimelech is a priest of God! Anyone who helps my enemy is my enemy! Execute them! My God! My Lord! Tell me what to do! Lord, show me the way. Give me strength to keep my head up high in full.
My big brother, David. Shema! We started looking for you as soon as we heard what happened. Someone said he saw you here. We all came right away. My king, we present our lives to you. Eliab, what are you doing? It's me, your youngest brother. You were anointed by the prophet Samuel as God's chosen one of Israel. Yes, you are my brother, but you are also my king. King David! Brother Shema! of us have gathered to fight for you. We are 400 warriors. We are 400 warriors. We are putting out our life for you. Our life is your life. We're gonna fight for you. Our life is your life. Just say the word and we will attack King Saul immediately. I will take Saul myself. No. Why? Why? No matter what he's done to me, we shouldn't harm someone God has anointed. There's news that David has assembled hundreds of soldiers in the Ziph wilderness and is raising an army. Uh, so, the truth has finally come out. He is raising an army against me. Abner! Ready the troops. I'll direct them personally. To Ziv! David, where are you? I can't see you. David, I'm here for you. We thought you were Saul's spy. You are David's soldiers, right? Where is he? I need to see him. He's... David can't see you. Aren't you Eliab? Yes, I am David's brother, Eliab. Eliab, I beg you, please. I must talk to David. Go back home. I came out here just to see David. King Saul is trying to kill my brother, and you're his daughter. But I love David. Your love will make no difference until either Saul or David dies, they won't stop fighting. No, David and I. You two should have never met. <laughs> Go back. One day your father will die by our sword. Uh, no, no.
Mikal is here? You don't get it. She's Saul's daughter. No, I must see her. Don't stop me. David, you can't let Saul's daughter haze her decisions. He'll kill you or you'll kill him. There's no way around it, and there's no room for the princess. But I have to see her. I have followed you knowing the risks, and if you must go see the princess, you might as well kill me now. Abishai. coming for us right now. We can't hide anymore. Let's get ready. There. That's where they are hiding. Don't let any one of them get away, especially David. They've escaped. Sire! Look, there's tracks of their horses. They're headed that way. Follow them. Don't let them escape. We looked for hours. They're gone. Gone? There are hundreds of them. They can't all just disappear. Keep searching, find them. Yes, sire. Tired, Majesty. You should get some rest. <sighs> yes, that would be good. into your hands. Take this chance. Go. If you let him go, you regret it with your life. somewhere else. My king! Why are you after me? Isn't that David? Useless fool! Look! This cloth is from your robe! I could have taken your life! Can't you see I don't have any desire to hurt you? 
You won't get away. Don't let him out of your sight. Sire, it's too dark. We won't be able to find them. Let's camp out and continue the search at dawn. I am going to King Saul's tent with Abishai. The rest of you stay here. Abishai, let's go. Wake up! Huh? Who, who was that? Who called me? Abner, you just kept on dreaming while your master was in danger. Isn't that reason enough for dismissal? When was I in danger? Look around, Abner. Try to find your master's spear and water jug. My spear? My water jug? Look, King. Here is your weapon and your drink in my hands. You mean... He came in while I was asleep? God put your life into my hands once again, but I didn't harm the very king that God had once appointed. <sighs> Just as I value your life, God treasures mine and will protect me from any and all danger. God is with David. The Lord with David. God watches over David. God protects him. God has left me. God has left me. Highness, David is out of our hands now. He's crossed over to the region of Ziglag and Goth. Since that's enemy territory, we can no longer continue our search. David, dear David, can you possibly miss me the way I miss you right now? David. How are you doing, Mikkel? 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 King Saul wouldn't follow you here. We must start building your kingdom. One nation cannot have two kings. And King Saul is the rightful ruler of Israel. We were there when Prophet Samuel came and anointed you as a king. 
You know that the Lord has already left Saul. The true king of Israel is you. You are the only king of Israel. Kish is invading Israel. The Philistine troops are already headed for King Saul's castle. Tell everyone to prepare for battle. Battle? On whose side? Israel, of course. Listen to yourself. You think Saul will just welcome you in? His first reaction will be to throw a spear at you. We'll only end up fighting against fellow Israelites. What then? Should I... This is not your war. It's between King Saul and the Philistines. It's Saul's problem. If God still acknowledges Saul as king, he will have the victory. If not, he will get what he deserves. There, there's so many of them. There's at least 10 of them for each one of us. Samuel, bring Samuel to me. Sire, the prophet Samuel died five years ago. Uh, yes, he died. Then, find a priest! We must offer sacrifice to God for him to help us. There are no priests. What? Why? You killed them all when they helped David escape years ago. <sighs> if they're all dead, then bring me a magician to bring back the dead. Father, God will not be pleased with this. The magician! Philistines have raised an army against me. There are too many of them. I don't know what to do. Please help me. God chose you to be a king. But oh, you've only brought him disgrace with your pride. He will hand you over to the Philistines tomorrow. You and your son will fall by the sword. Tomorrow. 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 King Saul is dead? Here's his crown. King Saul's army has been annihilated. Prince Jonathan as well. Jonathan? Jonathan? Jonathan! Your beauty, O Israel, is slain on your high places. How have the mighty fallen? O daughters of Israel, weep over Saul and my brother Jonathan! And now the Philistines are charging toward the king's castle. Mikal! 
Calm yourself, David. This is not your war. Get out of my way! It's over! Over! Your father and brother! They're both killed? Israelite soldiers are either dead or have run away! My father? Uh, my brother? They're all dead? Uh, Kill all of them! Don't let even one get away! Jonathan both dead. I have nothing left in this world. I just wish I could have seen David one last time. Ah! <sighs> Who's next? Anyone else? It, it's David! He's the one who killed Goliath! David! Cowards! What are you waiting for? Scared to take one man? We have completely chased the Philistines. They ran back the whole way. Long live the new king of Israel, King David!
God has trusted us to take care of all those people. Like a flock of sheep to a shepherd. Our job is to lead them to green pastures as the Lord commands. David reigned for 40 years. He was the greatest king Israel had ever known. <laughs>